Good morning. It's actually oh, it's the afternoon. A bit later today. Went out for breakfast this morning. Um, it's the penultimate January for me because I'm going through the alphabet. Um, and we're close to the end of January, and people are thinking about Nam and uh, all of that stuff. Um, why is today's letter? And it has to be Yamaha, doesn't it? it has to be Yamaha. Um. Okay, this is the second T-shirt I bought for January, but come on, you know, what a classic T-shirt. Um, what are we listening to? Um, we got a few guitars here. Um, this is, now what model is this? This is the 120 SD. Um, it's one of the few telly shapes that the Yamaha do. Come on, Yamaha, give us more telly shapes. Not the really expensive Mike Stern model. Just give us, give us, give us a new Pacifica in a telly shape, please. Um, <laughs> this is this is probably 20, 25 years old. I think out of Hong Kong, maybe. Um, probably um, shipped as like learner instruments, but because it's a Yamaha. Flipping brilliant. Um, uh, I've, I've, I bought this second hand. Um, it's really sort of knocked and dented around. I don't know whether you can see some of the um, there's some of the sort of pick marks in there. Um, no pick cover. Uh, don't need one, do you? You need a big chunk of wood. That's all you need. Um, nothing, nothing complicated about the controls. Three-way switch, tone, volume, two pickups. E like the the perfect guitar in many ways the volume pot on this needs replacing so it's really scratching which means i don't sort of gig that as as much as i would like to and i haven't got around to replacing it yet now slightly higher end um is this is the 611 I'm almost short, sure 611. In uh yeah, in root beer, I think they call this colour. Um it's from the Pacifica range. Um, but the 611s, I think there's even a 612 with the sort of the higher end versions. Um so Seymour Duncan pickups, um, P90, Humbucker, does have a coil splitter, tapper, whatever that is. Um does have I'm going to say Grover tuning heads. Yes, Grover tuning machines. Um, good nut. Um, nice. Ooh, look at look at look at look at the look at the bridge. Sort of nice. I don't know, like some like some like high tech aircraft sort of kind of composite material there. So they put these together as being like high end Pacificas. Um, this is plugged in. And I've got a little bit of delay and a little bit of Maxon overdrive. Um, slightly chunky neck, Yamaha. You know, um, that might that might fatigue me if I was doing a three hour. Um, obviously, Yamaha being Yamaha, they make everything. So we've got one of their synths here. This is the Reface um, CS Reface CS edition. A deceptively simple synth when you look at the sort of the controls, but actually a, a very nice sounding and quite powerful synth with kind of, you know, it's got an interesting looping function. Um, this sort of control controls the amount of polyphony from mono to poly. Um, it does have an LFO, does have different sort of wave shapes. Um, you can send the LFO from different, um, different destinations is the word. Simple ADSR envelope, uh, does have inbuilt effects. So it's, I was kind of thinking this morning if Amazon did it, did like a basic synth, it might look a bit like that. Um, I don't know <laughs> that's an inglorious review. Um, I really like it. Um, I like it for the just, you know, there's, there's zero menus. Everything's there in front of you. Nice, good, simple 
synth. Uh, does have MIDI, although you need some weird breakout cables. Um, but yeah, also great portable instrument. Uh, I think you can put batteries inside. Batteries, obviously batteries. I'm thinking it's got USB. Can I power it from USB? Don't think so. Can power it from batteries. Um, and the, the the other reface range I think, uh, are very popular. Uh, I'm led to believe that people use the electric piano version of it to make big sort of full-size electric pianos. Um, the, the engine in that is really good. Um, every January where I where I play guitar is, is, is also uh, a Yamaha day because um, all my guitar tracking is through this guy. Um, this is the, oh, the TH. I don't, it was one of like, it's like the original sort of TH range of, they, well, they put these out as kind of like your third amp, you know, your, your practice room amp, your pre-gig warming up amp. Today, it's my everything amp. Uh, I use it for everything. I use it for tracking, tracking bass, tracking acoustic, tracking guitar. I use it for rehearsals. I use it for theatre work. Um, it probably it's a bit small to gig, but you could put a mic in front of it and it'd probably sound great. Um, they're amazing. Yamaha, if you could put the engine in that in a small pedal, it would fly off the shelves. We'd love that. Um, although you'd be competing with a Boss IR2 pedal. Um, but the um, yeah. That sounds great. Anyway, um, just quickly show you my Yamaha bass. Um, I'll put the full model number in 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 the description. T R B X one seven four E W, which just trips off the tongue. Um, mango wood, um, sort of with a P pickup, jazz bass pickup. Um, super simple, and again Yamaha. You know, you gotta love them. Um, they put these out as, as you know, affordable instruments. These are like two hundred pounds, two hundred dollars, um, insanely. And uh, I use this to track all my bass. Or most of my albums have some kind of bass tracking with this bass on it. Um, it's fantastic. You know, I didn't say you know for the money. It's fan. No, I mean no, it's fantastic. It's great. Um, all right, let's get on with the jam, and then uh, tomorrow we got the final January. Hmm, Zed. What will I be playing for Zed, I wonder? On oh, the t-shirt for Zed. It's a good one. It's a good one. If anyone can name the film that I'll reference in the comments, um, I'll maybe sort out a prize for them. Even if that prize is just satisfaction of demonstrating your awesome, popular culture knowledge. All right. Ta-ra, ta-ra, ta-ra. <laughs> I'm going to finish my tea and then do the recording. Lovely, lovely tea.